Hello my dear students welcome to Baidu's exam prep hope you guys are fine so guys i have an important update for you guys UPSC that is Union Public Service Commission has released the application form for ESC 2024 so guys let's have a quick look at it is there any changes what are the various things which they have put in this notification so let's be quick we'll be also talking about the dates each and everything so first of all here has been mentioned regarding the notification so this notification came today only that is 6th of September talking further about this notification so guys if you visit to upsc site that is www.upsconline.nic.in you can register yourself first you need to log in make a, make your account and then you can proceed further okay now when you make your otr that is one time registration platform is there here you can change your profile anything within 7 days okay after that next thing which comes into action is here you can fill all the details which is required along with the photo id proof passport driving license anything which is issued by government of india next talking further next talking further here we have like if you have any issues related to like you have submitted some wrong document or anything like that you can uh, go you have their various facilitation counters even they have mail id so you can either contact to them on telephone or you can or you can mail them okay after this it is very very important they have mentioned special instructions that it's very very important whether it's a conventional type test or objective type te uh, objective type test is there it's very important that read the instructions carefully like if it is an objective type type test you know basically we either use black ball point pen or blue ball point pen don't use gel pen so these are the prerequisite which you need to know the instructions about talking next about they have mentioned that mobile phones and all are not permitted very basic thing we already know talking about online question papers presentation portal so yeah they have mentioned even if you have doubt in any if you want to raise objection they have mentioned regarding that also that till what time which date you can uh, raise your objection for particular question with reference to the solution of it next talking about the various categories category civil mechanical electrical electronics and telecommunications various uh, group a services posters you can go to central engineering service road bro then indian defense mes central uh, cwe central water engineering indian skill development similarly for mechanical you have two categories category a category b electrical also and then you have for electronics and telecommunication also so these are the categories which is mentioned you can have a look on this i will attach this pdf on the comment section so if you want you can download it also okay talking next about it talking next about it if you want to know the various cities in which the preliminary exam that is prelims will be con conducted that is objective examination so these are the list of cities for preliminary examination okay and for mains examination and for mains examinations these are the cities okay so you can check it out talking about eligibility yeah nationality of india nepal bhutan all these things pretty much known ha huh. but age limit is very very important if you are a general category student then make sure that your age as far as january 2024 is concerned should not be more than 30 years okay however age relaxation based on different communities is there which has been mentioned if you are an obc you have to uh, basically submit a non creamy layer certificate as well okay so this has been mentioned i'll underline it so however it they have mentioned it in bold okay upper age limit is 30 years however if government employee and all those things are there ex servicemen other uh, relaxation is there so each and everything in detail format is list, uh, listed to you guys talking next about it talking next in this list is basically the syllabus part medical examinations yeah like eyesight and all those basic prerequisite should be there and apart from that uh, talking about fees fees is very basic you have to pay just 200 rupees fees and this money is non refundable okay talking next talking next quickly 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 is about uh, certificates and all if you are a reservation category student you just have to submit uh, your certificates of it last day is very much important the portal open today that is 6th of september the portal will close on 20 6th of september 6 pm that is from 6 today to 26 so don't be on the thing that i will give or i will 
fill the form on the very last day don't be on that because sometimes the portal doesn't work so don't be on this habit that i will fill it at the very end okay now quickly going further quickly going further here is uh, basically an extra and all is mentioned to you what are the things you have to submit if uh, uh, like a reservation is there or any other thing ex service man whatever it is there or physically handicapped okay after this uh, you have been given each and every details has been given to you which you can go through it okay uh, number of uh, this uh, this has also been mentioned to you regarding in preliminary examinations for civil 2 hours papers for general studies technical is for 3 hours similarly for mechanical electrical electronics it has been mentioned talking about syllabus okay mains examination they have told the pattern they have told about personality test with that is your personal interview which you will be having that is of 200 marks okay after this uh, you are having what you are having the syllabus part of it syllabus be precise because it's abundant so you need to know how much to study okay so the syllabus for civil for various categories of it is being told to you so kindly be very much sticky to your syllabus and study the ones which they have put in the syllabus okay similarly for mechanical uh, for electrical electronics they have uh, given the syllabus i'm just uh, not reading the syllabus it's like wasting the time because otherwise civil will doesn't care about mechanical syllabus right okay so i have just mentioned that the syllabus is there the main point is firstly your age limit general category 1st january or 2nd january 2024 your age limit should not be more than 30 years okay next age relaxation various categories is there today the no, you can apply from today till 26 september 6 pm 200 rupees is the registration fees which is non refundable talking about here you can check it out you can check it out what you can check it out the syllabus entirely and if you have any doubts do comment me in the comment section and we'll answer to it however i'll attach this pdf also in case to avoid any ambiguity okay so guys don't wait if you were thinking that let the notification come and then i start with my preparation so now you are there notification has already came now the application form has come so basically now since you are filling the application form now also you have the time left quickly start your preparation if you were not serious before okay in case of any queries do let me know and if you haven't subscribed our channel do so thank you